What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and today we did receive update 1.14. Also along with this we did receive the normal weekly update that comes out on Tuesday. The newswire with the new bounty and all that kind of stuff. We received that today as well. I will link this stuff down in the description below in case you'd like to read over it for yourself. But the update was really not that impressive. The update was not that big on PS4 anyway. It was like almost three gigs not quite on my end anyway i know it'll be different sizes depending on you know if you have an older playstation or a playstation pro but this is mainly just for bug fixes and exploits fixing crashing issues also added fixes for shuttering and lag issues they fixed some glitches that one point uh, that update 1.13 had brought to the game so those glitches have been fixed added fixes for frame weight frame rate drop and freezing issues and also the normal performance and stability improvements. Whether this will fix the error codes that you're getting in game, I do not know. They have added tons of these performance and stability improvements to the game, and they have really not seemed to help people's issues with being disconnected from the game over and over. With the normal weekly update that we received today, and I'm assuming they've doing, they're doing all this kind of ahead of the PC release tomorrow, we did get a new legendary bounty. And today's legendary bounty must have you must spare mercy pretty much it says you have to take this retar target in captured alive so just remember that while you're fighting this gang and the new target the target has to be captured alive also uh, all gunslingers who play between now and the 11th of november will, re will be rewarded with 100 cash and a free treasure mount starting tomorrow the new collectors uh, collection will be available also some new emotes are being added to the wheeler rawson and co catalog um, it says anybody who has reached rank 50 this week in the club rank will receive the gener uh, gentle wave emote also playstation play uh, plus members who play red dead online will receive a set of tarot cards within the next 24 hours and for those competitive players out there no new event this week, just the last week of the Fear of the Dark showdown mode. And it says stay tuned to the Newswire for more Red Dead Online news in the coming weeks. I was hoping we might get a little bit more things brought to the game on console now that we know the PC release is tomorrow. And the PC is getting some different things for the campaign and stuff like that. You know, within the story mode, I know a lot of players have been looking forward to that. Uh, coming to the console version, does not look like we're going to get anything just yet. But, like I said, that update today was nothing but bug fixes and stability fixes. And that uh, weekly news wire was kind of not a great one this week. It was not really a, one of the better ones in the past few weeks, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.